Hey everyone, Benjamin here. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to use a very new transition Canva has introduced for video editing. So if you're ready, open your Canva and let's design together. Before we get started in the tutorial, I just want you to know this. I want this tutorial to be so interactive. So just in case you're watching and you have any questions, I want you to leave it in the comment section. And also just to support this video, kindly hit on the like button just so that we can be able to push this video to other Canva designers. If you are new, don't forget to change the red button down there to a gray button. So let's dive into Canva and let's get started. So you can see this is the entire thing I did. And um, what I'm going to do is I'll just come back to the home button. I would click on create a new design and in this section what we are going to do is to choose video okay so once you choose video a whole new blank canvas would be created for us so that we can be able to start designing so we are going to do everything in some very easy steps the first thing we are going to do is to come to videos okay so scroll down you see videos so after you click on videos what you are going to do is you are going to search for any videos you want but in my case i would only search for 3d okay and you can just feel free to use any video of your choice okay so after i search you can see i have so many options over here and um, i'm going to choose similar videos i used earlier so i'll choose this one for an example okay and um, i'll just move my video here then i just drag it down and i'll just do this too then i can double click just to crop the video okay then click on done so you can also take your time to do the same to your video the next thing i'm going to do is to add a shape so i press r for you know a square shape i would increase the size to something like this and i'll just drag it here okay then we come here to the border style and i'll increase the corner rounding to maybe 50 okay so i can just click here and type 50 okay so you can see we have some cool thing over here so i can also change the color i will change the color to any nice color of my choice but you can see that because of the colors we have over here we have to be very intentional on in my case i have to be very intentional on the color i choose so i can choose an orange which you know stands out and i think is looking beautiful to me okay so you can also do the same and i'll just come on to add some text okay so maybe i can just see anything over here so i'll use the same words i use motion okay then i'll increase the size position it here okay and i'll just duplicate it and drag it down and i can just see design okay so motion design then i increase the size so that it fits the motion okay then i'll change my typeface to poppins so i'll use the poppins extra bold apply the same one to the design then we have something like this okay then we are duplicating it one more time bring this to the top and i would reduce the size okay and i'll just position this over here so in this case i'm going to use a samsung um, font i have which is a samsung sans regular and this is a custom font i uploaded in canva so i want to use this opportunity to tell you about canva pro just in case you are looking at doing more with canva when it comes to removing background images resizing your canva designs with a button publishing canva content directly from canva to any social media platforms adding multiple brand kit to your design and having multiple animation options when you are creating motion designs inside of canva canva pro has it all for you so i want you to be able to use this for free so i have a special link in the description box below that can help you try canva pro for free so if you are interested just check it out and the other thing i want to tell you about is the mini templates i have created for you so there's a link in the description box below that can help you get my templates at a very cool price so yes this is what i wanted to share with you and let's dive back into canva okay so what we are going to do here is i will just you know have my sans regular and i will just change this over here and i can just say maybe design tips okay this is what i want to say over here then i can maybe just send it to the top a little bit with my arrow key duplicate it and bring it to the bottom over here okay so once i do this i just want to add some dummy text over here so i have my dummy text over here and since the text is too much i'll just select all of them and reduce you know the number of words i have so you can see what i have and it looks like my words are a lot so i'm actually going to reduce the size also okay so something like this and position it here and i can send the entire thing to the top okay and maybe i have to send this also to the top so this is 31 okay then i just have to do the same for this so 31 okay so they can all be the same so you can see this is what we have 
at the moment so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to animate all of these things we have over here this is a video so we don't need to do any extra thing for it so i select you know the shape over here come to animate in animate i'm going to choose the rise animation for it okay and um, i'll just choose on enter make sure you choose the same for it then with this one i'm going to choose the ascent okay so if you go through you see for writing and the writing you see ascent choose ascent so with this one over here i'm going to choose the baseline and you just choose the app um you know it should animate to the top and for this one i choose the same baseline but i'll choose downward so that it animates to the bottom so with this one over here i'm going to choose the merge okay so i just have to choose merge it's also and uh, right and so i choose merge and everything should form nicely like this so you can see what we have at the moment okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate the entire page over here so i come over here and i click on duplicate okay so a new page has been you know made for us so this is what you have to do select the video move it to the left okay and select everything over here except the video and move it to the right okay so once you do that you want to remove the animation we have applied to every element over here so i select this okay and come to remove animation then i can maybe select everything inside here except the shape come to the animate and come to remove animation so that we remove every animation over here so i can also change the video okay so i can come to videos and just choose you know any of the videos at all so maybe i apply this one then i can also change the color of um this shape over here to any shape at all i want but i'll use the color picker to pick a color from here okay and i can also say motion element okay and i would increase the size you know something like this which i believe it's cool okay so now that we've done all of this what we have to do is i would reduce the duration of this okay because it's too long over here so i'll reduce the duration to maybe four seconds should be cool or maybe five seconds it's okay then click on the plus icon this is the interesting part of it then you see add transition okay so click on that and you see all of these transitions over here so you can choose any transition of your choice you know depending on what you are looking for this one looks very cool okay but the one we want to use is the match and move okay so what convert does it it gets to try to blend the two you understand and it makes it very cool so if i'm to play it this is how the whole thing is actually going to look like so you can see how everything looks like over here and this is pretty much what i wanted to share with you inside of canva i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did i want you to hit on the like button to support this video and also don't forget to check out my canva tutorial because i have so many canva tutorials there that i believe can help you hit on the subscribe button if you are new and hit on this video you are actually seeing on my screen the name is benjamin don't forget there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next video. Yes.